Mom? Yeah? I'm pregnant. I see. I see. Is that all you've got to say? Well, it takes a bit of thinking about, doesn't it? Yeah. I've been meaning to tell you. I just didn't know what to say. Oh, I'm sad now. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. How late are you? Three weeks. That doesn't prove anything. I've had one of them tests. What sort of test? One of those predictor things. And was it positive? Yeah. Still doesn't prove anything. They're not reliable. Don't always get it right. I know I'm pregnant, Mum. Yeah, well, it's got to be confirmed. You have to go to the doctors. No. It's got to be done, Michelle. Mum, I'm not going to Dr Leg. I mean, F will probably be outside the door and it'll be around the square in two minutes. Yes, but if you are pregnant, we're not going to be able to keep it a secret forever, are we? We're going to have to see a doctor sometime. God, if only you'd listened to me, this would never have happened. I mean, you could have gone on the pill. We gave you the option. I know. But you wouldn't have it, would you? Oh, no, you knew better. How could you have been so stupid? When I was your age, we either stayed on the straight and narrow or hoped the bloke had some sense, which they usually don't. But you lot, you've got it handed to you on a plate. You could have sorted yourself out, you didn't have to get pregnant. I always trusted you, Michelle. I thought Mark was the difficult one. We used to have nightmares about a father turning up on a doorstep with a shotgun after his blood. Not you. Not this. You've changed, Shell. Don't know why or how, but you've changed. I can't talk to you. No one can talk to you. So I suppose you thought you knew best. Now you know you didn't. You was going to run around with every Tom, Dick or Harry. You could have been more careful. Mum, it wasn't like that. I wasn't sleeping around. No, oh, just the once, was it? <laughs> they all say that. Maybe. But in my case, it happens to be true. You don't have to believe me. It doesn't really make much difference whether you do or not in the end. But it's the truth, Mum. I'm sorry, Michelle. Wish I hadn't said them things. I don't know why I did. It was a shock. It was bound to be. Yeah. There's no point in going through the if phone list. I mean, now I've got to sort out what's to be done. Yeah. There's one thing. At least you don't have to face it on your own. You've got your mum behind you now. Thanks. Well, it can't have been easy going about with all that on your mind and no one to turn to. Have you told anyone? I told Gran. Oh, so you could tell someone. Look, hope she gave you an easier time than she gave me when I had to tell her I was in the club. She's been great. Yeah. She usually does turn up trumps when the chips are down in bag. Should have told you first, I suppose, Mum. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's done now. And you've had an earful for your pain, so perhaps you made the right choice. Have you thought about what you're going to do? I haven't thought about much else lately. I know all the questions, even if I'm not sure about the answers yet. I can't face that with it, Mum. Oh, well, that's not the first hurdle. I mean, we'll decide if and when we tell your father. There's no if about it. I mean, he's going to notice for himself, eventually. You mean you can have it? I think so. You don't sound too sure. Yeah, I'm not sure about anything right at the moment. OK, fair enough. What about the bloke who got you into all this? Gran's already questioned me about that one. I'm not telling. Didn't ask you who he was. You'll tell me in your own time. Or you won't. But he is responsible. Does he know? How do you think he's going to feel? Mum, can we just leave him out of this, please? Righto. If that's the way you want to play it, that's the way we will. For the time being, there's plenty of other things to sort out. <laughs>